Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today I have two new Ultra Action figures to review for you. We have Ultraman Victory and Ultraman Belial. Now as you can probably tell right off the bat, uh, one is considerably larger than the other. Uh, but I'm actually really excited for both of these. I've really been enjoying the Ultra Action figure line so far. And I'm really happy that both of these characters got released. Very excited for both of these. Uh, packaging, pretty standard. Just kind of a bubble on a card. Had a picture of the Ultraman down here. And then on the back, just kind of shows off some poses and then your standard warning security stuff going on down the bottom there. So pretty much the same on the back here for Belial. I'm going to go ahead and get these two guys out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look. Here are the two figures out of the packaging. We'll start over here with Victory. I think he looks great. Paint detailing, all very nice. Doesn't really have too much paint going on in the back, but that's pretty much standard for these kinds of figures. But front looks great. Head sculpt is nice, paint very nice. Head, I believe, is on a ball joint, although the front to back movement is not so much, but can certainly look side to side. Shoulders on a hinge, but because of the shoulder pad, it kind of stops about there. Can spin around, no problem. Bicep swivel 90 degrees in the elbow. He has a swiveling wrist, as well as two sets of fingers that can open up on each hand. Nothing in the waist. Uh, nothing in the thigh, but he does have out to the side and to the front for the hip. And then you have pretty much 90 degrees, maybe slightly over 90 degrees in the knee. And then a ball joint in the ankles. So pretty typical for these. Uh, none of the Ultra Action figures have had waist or thigh movement. Um, it's really not that big a deal. Of all the articulation points to take out, I think that's probably the least necessary i would definitely pick the bicep swivel before the thigh swivel but yeah he looks good definitely has a lot of nice points of articulation and i am excited to add him to my collection uh moving on to belial i am really excited about this guy i don't know why i like belial so much i think maybe because he kind of reminds me of venom from marvel comics who's one of my favorite characters and he's just got that awesome design i mean even the eyes are kind of venom-esque and he's got the giant claw hands, which look great. He's got pretty much all the same articulation points. Obviously, he doesn't have any kind of uh, finger movement. The hands are one solid piece, but they can uh, rotate from side to side. They rotate around. Otherwise, bicep swivel, elbow, hip, knee, ankle, all the same. Uh, but he just looks great. He looks very menacing. I think making him a little bit larger was definitely the right move because he's kind of hulking uh very menacing wide stance kind of monster and i think he just looks fantastic again really not too much going on in the way of paint on the back but you do have it on the sides of the arms and uh that head sculpt is just <laughs> really nice now he's got a little bit more up and down movement in the head so he definitely has a ball joint there but yeah overall i think both of these figures are fantastic if i had to pick between the two Probably Belial, just because he's so different from most of the Ultra Action figures that you get. Um, most of the standard Ultra men look somewhat similar. Obviously, you can tell them apart, but I just mean he's radically different from all the rest. So I feel like he's definitely one you should pick up. Uh, but Victory is also very cool. I like how they both kind of have black as their primary color scheme. And you can even get his arms out pretty far, which is nice. There's a little bit of like dead space in here just because they wanted to make sure that you could reach everything around and there wouldn't be any kind of uh, impediment to the articulation if that's a word I don't know impediment did I just make that up it's very possible in any case I think both of these figures are fantastic and if I remember correctly they're somewhere in the area of 15 to 20 dollars before shipping which I think is totally reasonable uh, for Japanese figures. I think they're excellent and I would definitely advise you add them to your ultra action figure collection if you have one going. Uh, or start with Belial, I say. <laughs> if you haven't jumped into these, uh, definitely a good time to start. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always, thanks so much for watching.